Tottenham announced their third signing in Yevers Basuma from Brighton and Hove Albion. What is the latest news on Leeds United Rafinha, Tottenham's Stephen Bergvine, and Nottingham Forest's DJ Spence? Spurs put in a bid for Everton to Richarlison. And Tottenham have interest in RB Leipzig's Mohamed Sinekun and Ajax's Anthony. guys welcome back to another video on the channel and today i'm back with another transfer news video now i do apologize it's been a very very long time since i last did a transfer video it was over it was nine days ago last time i did a, a transfer video so i really do apologize um for it's been that long but anyway i'm back with the transfer videos so yeah smash like subscribe let's get into the video Okay, let's, let's get into the video and let's speak about Yevis Basuma and he is our third signing of the summer. This is what um, Tottenham said on the website on the website on the 17th of June at 3.30pm. We said, we are delighted to announce the transfer of Yevis Basuma from Brighton and Hove Albion, subject to granting of work permit. The Mali International has agreed... A deal that will run until 2026. A dynamic midfielder, Yevis began his youth career at Majestic SC before joining Malian outfit AS Royal Bamako and in March 2016 headed to France to join Lille, making 55 senior appearances for Les Dorgues, scoring four goals. In July 2018, he signed for Brighton, making his debut the following month and registering his first league goal in July 2020, a strike which was nominated for Premier League's Goal of the Month award. Across four seasons with Brighton, Yevis made 123 appearances in all competitions, scoring six goals in the 2021-2022 season and helped them to a ninth place finish in the Premier League, the highest top flight finish in the club's history. On the international stage, he has made 23 appearances to date, scoring on three occasions since making his senior debut in October 2015. The following year, he represented Mali at the Africa Cup of Nations, meeting his decisive goal to seal his team's place in the final, where they would eventually finish as runners up. Yevis was again called up by Mali ahead of the rescheduled Africa Cup of Nations, which took place earlier this year. So that's just basically some stuff about Basuma, you know, obviously he's a Mali international, he's played in two AFCONs for his country and you know you know he's 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 a decent player, you know, from starting back in um when obviously um, it all began at Majestic it's gone from Majestic C S who are they not? Majestic is it CS? I can't remember. And this is the club where Yeris Basuma began his career at FC Majestic, who play who play in the Birkenbay Bay Premier League. Um, who play in the Birkenbay Bay Premier League. What is that? What is that? So he so he began his career. In the Birken Bay Premier League, which I think is an African league. It's basically the African version of the Premier League, I'm guessing. He's gone from playing in that league to play in the Premier League and now to be playing in the Champions League. And I'm not going to lie, fair flipping play to Yevis Basuma, you know, to play from an African league to the Champions League. Fair play to the lad. And... To be honest, I think Basuma is a brilliant signing for us, you know. I think we probably need that other midfielder that other midfielder. And to be honest, I really do rate Basuma. You know, he can um he can like he can um he's a creative well, he's like he's one of those players that he's not gonna go like Kante, he just won't stop running. 
he just won't stop running and I think Basuma is a really good signing for us. So yeah, Spurs fans thoughts on da, 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 Basuma. Okay then, so what is the latest news on DJ Spence? And according to Lyle Thomas and Sky Sports, Tottenham and Middlesbrough remain a part in their in their valuations of DJ Spence after latest round of talks in London yesterday. Still no agreement and Tottenham ready to move on into Carbon. By the way, yesterday was like yesterday. Well, that was posted two days ago, so what day is today? It's Sunday, Saturday, Friday. So that would have been on Thursday. Um. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, but obviously that is pretty much the latest news on Spencer, Tottenham and Borough. Um, they are apart, but I think they've... But they have both spoken to Spence and Tottenham ready to move on if it can't be done. So that's pretty much... The latest on DJ Spence. And another player we are going to get the latest on is Rafinha. He's been in the news a little bit lately. So if I just find it, uh, this was from yesterday. According to Fabrizio Romano, Tottenham are really interested in Rafinha. And Antonio Conte is a big fan of his. Tottenham are discussing a verbal proposal with Leeds United. Arsenal, on the other hand have made a written offer but neither club wants a bidding war or or to pay crazy money. Um so we obviously are, we are actually not the only club interested in Rafinha. Arsenal are also interested in Rafinha but in the last few minutes um for Richard Lana put here we go for Gabriel Jesus. So are they gonna pull out on this Rafinha deal? I don't know. Um they did offer Leeds an offer that was rejected by Leeds. I think Arsenal are going to put in a second offer. Um, so Arsenal, you could say, are one step ahead of Tottenham right now to sign Rafinha. Um, but Spurs, Spurs um, are discussing a verbal proposal with Leeds. Um, so yeah, so yeah. So Spurs fans' thoughts on Rafinha, and we are now also going to move on to Steven Bergvine. So we're moving on to the exiting door now. So this was from four days ago. Um, according to Mike Vergy, the chances of Steven Bergwijn arriving at Ajax are now extremely big. The Ajax fans, the Ajax fans, um, will have to be a little more patient. Most likely after the first of July. In fact, the first of July is actually the first of July is on Friday. This Friday is the 1st of July. Um, so this Friday is the 1st of July, but anyway, and it also says, but I did say something almost guaranteed. I mean, I also to the joint Ajax, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, so it looks like um, Stephen Bergwijn to Ajax is getting very, very closer. And, um, and it looks like it says, most likely after the well, start of July, Bergvine could be a Spurs player. Um, something else that was said as well, um, again by Mike Vergy, um, the jackpot sale of Sebastian Haller, who's going to Dortmund, it looks like, will remove all doubts regarding Stephen Bergvine to Ajax. A part of the transfer fee can now be used to finally bring in much desire to bring in the much desired signing. Um, obviously, Ajax um, looks like Haller is going to go to Dortmund, so that could be a bit of an advantage there for Ajax. But yeah, that is the latest news on Spence, Rafinha, and Bergwijn. Okay, well, let's now speak about Richardson. And does it look like a bid is going to be made? But um, but in the last few hours. Um, Richarlison set for Spurs. Recently, many rumours have surfaced heavily linking Richarlison to Tottenham with the possibility of an inclusion of midfielder Harry Winks as part of a potential deal to lure the Brazilian forward to North London this summer. Um, so that was that. And, and three hours ago, according to Football Insider, um, Richarlison has told close friends that he wants to move to Tottenham, 
There has there have been talks between Tottenham and Everton this week, but the Toffees are holding out for fifty million pounds. Um, so that was that. And two days ago, Everton have held talks over a low move for Tottenham midfielder Harry Winks, while Tottenham um, are also bought fought to be prepared to allow Lucas Moura to move in the opposite direction if they can sign Richarlison. So it looks like it looks like Richarlison wants to come to Tottenham. Uh, we want to buy Richarlison. Um, so this deal could actually happen. Everton are wanting fifty million. Is Richarlison fifty million? I don't think so. Maybe I'll say maybe forty for. 40, 35 million. I think that's a fair enough. I, I don't think he's worth 50, but maybe 45, I think, is quite more realistic. I'm not going to lie. But if we do get Richarlison, it'll be a brilliant signing. I'm not going to lie. I really would rate um, Richarlison. I would take him. He's a brilliant player. And um, and he's he's a player that cares about the club, uh, about the club that he plays for. Um, and, yeah, well, anyway, Tottenham fans... Yeah. Would you take Richarlison? I would. Okay then, so let's now speak about Mohamed Simakun. And according to Fabrizio Romano three days ago, Tottenham have been watching RB Leipzig, RB Leipzig's Mohamed Simakun for a long time and they really like him. Um, I don't really know much about Simakun, so we'll just have a look at some of his stats. Obviously, well, obviously, he's... Oh, he's only joined Leipzig in 2021, June 2021. Um, where does he play? Where does he play? Okay, centre-back. Um, there's more of a defensive stats, man. Um, there's a more defensive, aren't there? Um, so, accurate passes, 1,199 out of 80, so that's quite decent. Um, successful dribbles is 16 out of 67%. 27 out of 56% tackles were two block shots. They look decent. He looks a decent player, but does he want to leave Leipzig straight straight away? You know, he's only 22 years old. He looks happy at Leipzig. Um, just looking at recent fixtures um, in the games against... Uh, Freiburg, Bielefeld, Mönchengladbach and Union Berlin and that. Will this happen? I don't think so, but if it does happen, it maybe could be a backup centre-back. You never know, but I don't really know, to be honest. Will it work out? I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's, um, let's now speak about Anthony. Anthony, the man from Ajax. Not, he hasn't really been sp- speaking about lately but this was the when was the actual last report on him anthony 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 when was the last report on him it seems like ages ago here it is um 17th of june was the last report on anthony so it's been quite a long time ago miguel delaney uh manchester united are facing competition from tottenham in the race to sign ajax winger anthony um, so yeah, obviously they're actually not the only club who wants to sign Anthony. Uh, Man United wants to sign him uh, as well. And I'm just looking at some other stuff now. According to the Metro, Manchester United, Rivaldo sends message for Anthony over a 60 million transfer from Ajax. According to the Daily Express, Chelsea eyeing Man United transfer hijack as Blues holding Anthony meeting with agents. So now Chelsea are interested in him. Living out. Um, according to Manchester Evening News, three Anthony right wing alternatives Manchester United can target for Eric Ten Hag this summer. Um, well, they're mainly all about Man United, to be honest. But if we, if we have a look, no, that's. If we, is there anything about him in Tottenham? If not, there's no really point to speak about him, but. Well, there's been a few stuff about him. Um, Anthony calls transfer speculation after missing Ajax training. Um, well, according to Football London, Anthony calls transfer speculation after missing Ajax training admit Tottenham and Manchester United links. 
The Ajax forward has reportedly been valued at around £68 million by Ajax. Um, reported Tottenham and Manchester United transfer target Anthony put both of club put put fans of both clubs on red alert this week after seemingly skipping Ajax's first day of pre-season training. The Brazilian sent the transfer rumour mill into a frenzy after he wasn't spotted amongst the group of players taking part in new manager Alfred Scredder's first training session on Friday morning, with many speculating it was due to his potential departure this summer. But a day later, he was back on Monst Inn at the training ground, posting videos of himself working at the club's gym as he continues to prepare for the new season. In one of the videos, which showed him running on tr- running on a treadmill, Anthony included a message that read, "The season has officially begun. Focus on the recovery." So that's what Anthony has reported price tag of around sixty-eight million pounds on his soldiers as the Eredivisie champions hope to keep hold of their star man who scored 12 goals and provided 10 assists in 32 games last season. During during New United boss Eric Ten Hag, Hag's last season in charge at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Um, just looking at some... Now Ten Hag is hoping to reunite with his former player at Old Trafford, though he faces stiff competition not only from Antonio Conte at Spurs, but also from his Ajax successor, um, Scroderda, however you say his name, who, who has said reportedly that he wants to work with Anthony, who still has two years left on his current contract next season. And this, this it, clearly, we want to keep the boy, Scroderda told ESPN. He has a contract until 2025, but I'm not about that, any individual players in brackets. I'm about the squad and I really want to work with him. He knows that and the club knows that too. So that is what Ajax manager... um, What's his name again? So that is what Ajax manager Alfred Scroder said to ESPN. He wants to work with Anthony. He wants to keep Anthony. Ajax wants to keep Anthony as well. So it is quite mad and mock with a lie. Um, Spurs and Man United are battling it out, whilst Ajax actually want to keep him. Um, Chelsea battling for the signature as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, 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 that is the end of the video. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will see you soon, I guess. Um, so yeah, smash the like, subscribe, and actually, before we go, we are not. Uh, we are really, really close to a hundred subscribers. We are on seventy-three subscribers and let's just see how many of you are watching at home and haven't subscribed let's have a look at some let's have a look at some analytics um let me find it audience look at that not subscribed 60.9 percent of you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It would mean a lot. It would mean a lot. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you next time. Adios, lads.